talking about decoupling, um, this America and the Western society have been doing business with a handful of the CCP oligarchy or kleptocrats, which is less than 100 people, which doesn't even represent the 90 million CCP members, not even the 1.4 billion Chinese people. So America, should America decouple from doing business and having a cozy relationship with the CCP oligarchy? Well, I think uh, if you have these big companies like Nike and uh, the NBA, uh, they're very corrupt organizations, and they don't care about the human rights violations going on by the Chinese Communist government. They don't care that the whether it was released by accident from the Wuhan lab, uh, and, but maybe they spread it. You know, and they don't. They're not holding the the feet to the fire uh, in the name of billions of advertising dollars. You know, and um, I think that people have to uh, get tougher, and we gotta, you know, the United and serve the United States interest as opposed to the communists. You know. I've been to the communist Soviet Union in Moscow in 1986. I saw the bread lines. It doesn't work. And all these kids in America in these colleges, oh, we want socialism, we want communism. Uh, but they go and protest in the street. The parents wash the tear gas out of their clothes and do their laundry for them. And then they borrow the parents' $100,000 car to go to their, parent, their friend's house to smoke pot in their basement. So they don't know what struggling is. And they don't know about, you know, how tough life can be under the Chinese communists, right?